Okay, welcome to the new column called Crack the Whip. And in this column, we are going to talk about some killer riffs, what you can do with them and how to approach them in order to sharpen up your picking and left hand skills. Check it out. So I find the best way for me to bring up or maintain my chops is to pick one little thing and drill and maintain it and constantly go in this riff and keep playing it, adjusting it, and you're basically playing the same thing for an extended period of time. You'll see that that brings a lot of results. Okay, so this riff has three notes on the B string and one note on the high E. All notes are alternate picked. Check it out. Same exact fingering pattern, but I move it up to fret 12. In order to get the most clarity out of this lick, you see that I am only fingering with the tips of my left hand. The thumb is right behind the middle of the neck, which moves my hand forward, okay? You get the mo most strength out of your hand in order to, to grasp down on those notes. In return, you'll get a, you get a, a good, clear sound and sometimes even better intonation. Okay, the next example is a variation. I'm going to play two notes on the high E string and one of them is a pull-off. Check it out. Okay, so the idea behind this lick is I came up with a little phrase that I could basically play back and forth, back and forth nonstop and develop coordination and my right hand picking. But you guys have to also realize that it's not the idea of how fast you can play this riff. The idea here is to make sure that every note sounds clear and loud and you basically build that on, you get that consistency throughout the whole lick. Then the lick almost sounds faster than it really is. Okay, so the idea is get those notes even one behind the other with the same amount of volume, and this is what's really going to start pull, pulling your chops together in order to make these phrases sound really killer. Okay, so don't just try to rush through it because the idea is not really how fast you can play it, it's just how evenly you can play it. You'll see that things will sound actually faster than they really are when you do that. So when I start playing this lick cold, right, I don't really just plug in and, and start to shred away on this thing. I really just break it down and I watch my pick, make sure each note gets the right amount of attention and tone from your left hand. All right? Let me break this down really slow for you. Do you see how every note's got its own space and volume? And that's what's going to make this lick sound killer. So for the last part, we're going to take the same idea of the sequence, but moves up continually between 7th fret and the 12th. Check it out.
Okay, so this lick is an ascending sequence in E aeolian. And one thing you're going to have to keep in mind is that there isn't a lot of time between these notes. So you're really going to have to keep your fingertips of your left hand in, in shape here, okay? So don't forget that. Here's that lick slow down. Okay, so one important thing is to make sure that that top E and the B string, there's no ringing between. It's, it's, it's quite difficult to do. So as you listen to yourself play, make sure you listen for that. <laughs> 